CrossGuard is Pulumi's policy as code feature that lets organizations define policies that will gate or block deployments based on violations. Here's a quick demo. I have a Pulumi application that defines a VPC, a set of subnets and instances, and an S3 bucket. I have a set of policies that evaluate these resources based on security and cost best practices. These policies are written using the same object model as my Pulumi application, and they can run against specific resource types, or they can run against the entire stack to check for aggregate values across multiple resources in my stack. In this example, I'm checking that my subnets are a slash 24 or smaller, my instances have a set of required tags, and that my cost estimate for my instances is less than my monthly budget. My S3 policies are also checking that my bucket is not publicly accessible, versioning is turned on, and that server-side encryption is enabled as well. When I run a Plumi preview without these policies in place, I get a preview that shows me that Plumi is going to create 11 resources. When I run this preview with policy in place, I'm going to see that same preview, but I'm also going to see a number of policy violations based on my Plumi application as it currently exists. In the output here, I can see each policy violation that I've hit, including my subnet sizing, required tags on my instances, I've also exceeded my, my monthly budget. This is when running policy locally, which allows me to test and iterate on these policies before using them across my organization. To enforce them across my organization, I publish them to the Plumi console, and that, then I enable them as a policy pack across my organization. Now I want to rerun my preview without that policy pack flag in place. The Plumi console is going to ensure that this particular set of policies are evaluated alongside my resources in my preview. We'll see the same violations that we saw before. And now I can go in and adjust my subnet size. I can add my name tag that's missing. I can also fix the size of my instances so that I do not exceed my monthly budget. I can also make sure that my SD bucket is not publicly accessible. Now when I rerun my preview, I should get a preview that shows all 11 resources to be created without any violations, which would allow me to continue on with the Plumi update to allow me to deploy these infrastructure changes without any violations. Again, the Plumi console is providing the enforcement across my organization for that policy execution. And those policy packs can be set organization-wide or per stack, depending upon the stacks that you're deploying.